Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome to a foundation review. So today I'm going to be reviewing a new product that I have recently seen in the drugstore and I am talking about the new Milani 2 or Milani Conceal and Perfect 2-in-1 Foundation Plus Concealer. I actually saw this on the Milani websites um, a few weeks ago when I ordered my Milani Liquid Lipsticks. I actually didn't see it till after I placed the order, so I was like, ah, I'll just wait for it. And I've seen reviews pop up here and there, but I haven't seen too many people talking about it yet. And the other day, I went shopping to Walgreens, um, well, you know, just looking for makeup. So I wanted to see if there was any new makeup at, at the drugstore, and I did see that um, my Walgreens had the new Milani foundation, so I was like, oh, I've been wanting to try that. So I did pick up the color 07 Sand and um, I was hoping that it was my perfect color. Unfortunately, it is not. I did have to blend it and really work with it because it was just a little too dark for me. So I will have to return this and go back and get a different color. But yeah, I'm just going to be telling you guys pretty much my first impression off the bat, whether I like it, whether I think it's worth it, and the price, etc. Enjoy the video and... This way, that way. So I have a fresh, clean face, and I am going to use the primer because I just feel really weird when I don't wear a primer. So I'm going to take the NYX Angel Veil vale Skin Perfecting Primer, and the reason why I want to take this and not any other primer is because this doesn't fill in my pores or anything like that. Um, all it does is it gives me that layer in between my skin or a barrier between my skin and the actual foundation. So, I just want something to protect my skin. Um, that's why I'm using this. So this claims to be medium to full coverage, lightweight, oil-free formula, long-wearing, water-resistant, and sweat-proof. Um, I don't think I'm going to do anything today that requires me to be sweating or anything but um, I did pick this one up in the color 07 sand um, in the Milani website it said that it it was for people from medium skin tone with neutral undertones and I feel like I have neutral undertones so we'll see so I'm just gonna dot this all over my face and I feel like it's gonna match me really good but we'll see So I think this is actually a pump, but mine is kind of stuck to the top lid, like where you open it. So I'm just going to have to work with this for now. So I'm going to take my beauty blender and I'm just going to blend it into my skin and we'll see how it works. So this claims to be a 2-in-1, which is a foundation and a concealer. So I am going to use this as a concealer. I'm not going to use anything else. And I have really bad circles today because I did not get a good night's sleep. So I don't know if you guys can see them, but these bad boys are not playing today. So I'm just going to blend that down to my neck. Um, I think it's a little too dark for my skin tone. I don't know if you guys can see that. Um, it is a little too dark, so I might have to change it for a different color. Yeah, this is definitely too dark for my skin tone right now. Um, during the winter, I get a little bit lighter. So I think this would be a good summer foundation. But for the winter, it is too dark. I thought it was going to be my color. So I'm going to have to go and return it and get a different color. I'm going to take a little bit more and I'm going to apply it underneath my eyes. Like I said, I have really bad circles. And since I really want to test this out as a concealer and a foundation, so I'm just going to go 
in with a little bit more and use this as concealer. I usually like to use a lighter concealer for the purpose of um, hiding my under eye circles and highlighting at the same time. So honestly, first impression, I love it. My skin looks so freaking soft. I would definitely say it's full coverage because it covered some imperfections that I had on here. I can't see them at all. Overall, I think it sets really, really nice on the skin. Again, it makes it look really soft. Velvety, when you apply it and when you touch it, it feels a little bit sticky because it is a thick consistency type of foundation. It actually reminds me a lot of the Jordana 2-in-1 Concealer Plus Foundation, which I reviewed, I think, last year. I actually like this one a little bit more because the other one is a little thick, so a little bit goes a long way. This one is thick as well, but not, not nearly as thick as that Jordana foundation. It looks really nice. My skin looks so nice. I'm going to bring you guys in closer so you can take a look at it for yourself. So as you guys can see, it's very even. Um, it does crease underneath my eyes really quickly, so I have to hurry and set it. But other than that, what do you guys think? I think it looks really good on the skin. And I do not have perfect skin whatsoever. Sometimes I'll have dry patches around here and it just didn't cling to any dry patches at all. Wow, I am so impressed by this foundation. Like, I am blown away. I didn't really have either high or low expectations. I just thought it was going to be an okay foundation, but I really, really, really like it. Now, as far as for concealing, from what I can see, I can still see my circles, like my, my dark circles under here. So, what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to apply a little bit of orange concealer and then apply my regular concealer. I think it's perfect for a foundation because it doesn't feel too heavy on the skin. It's The formula is really nice and it sets really nicely on the skin. So... I'm going to go ahead and just finish off my face off camera and I'm going to let it sit there on my skin for a couple more minutes and then I'll come in and let you guys know what I really, really think about it. But so far, thumbs up. Okay, so I went ahead and just finished off my face. If you guys are interested in details about what I'm wearing on my eyes, lips, face, etc., I will have everything in the description bar down below. But, oh my god, guys, this foundation is so good like me fascina I love it so much it's really good it's definitely like I said medium to full coverage and I am a full coverage girl all the way I believe they have a good selection of shades I did get mine at my local Walgreens but you can also find them at the Milani website and the cool thing is that it tells you what type of undertones you know each foundation has unfortunately this one didn't match me you know perfectly as you can I don't know if you can see because I did try to blend it down to my neck but I like it I really really like it I really recommend it um, it's only $10 which I think is an incredible price and I think I just found some of my new favorites foundation from the drugstore and uh, that's saying a lot so I'm really impressed I, again I would really recommend it for anybody that is looking for a really good full coverage foundation and I like it I don't know what else to say about it so yeah so I really hope you guys enjoyed this video and also let me know what types of videos you guys want to see for next week I'm going to try and do nothing but Valentine's Day looks all through next week um, so let me know what types of colors you guys want to see and just things like that. So that completes this review. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Again, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't. And don't forget to follow me on my social media accounts. I love you guys and I'll see you soon. Bye guys.